Hey there, what is going on everybody? My name is Chief Long Socks, and I hope you guys are all doing great. Today, we are back playing some more Ark Ragnarok, and I'm really excited to be back because, guys, you probably noticed a couple days without videos on the channel. It pains me to say, I'm really sad about it. I do my best to keep up daily videos, but uh, lots of stuff going on right now at work. I have, a couple, I had a couple double shifts and some really long setup days, and it was, it was basically super crazy, so I did not really get a chance to do anything that I wanted to do. I was basically at work for 12 hours a day, almost, for a couple days. So it was pretty crazy, but I'm back and I have some time, and by time to record, by the way, I mean it is now 11 at night-ish, and I have work at 6 in the morning. So time to record, I would use that term pretty loosely, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll see how it works. Uh, let's see, do we have any poop on these guys we got a little bit of oil on you how about you guy did I give you any poop I feel like I need to collect more poop for these guys we're gonna have a bit of a slower episode today guys um, I have a plan of course but we don't have all the time in the world today so it's gonna be a little bit of a short one probably but I'm gonna do my best to make it a ton of fun so well I always have fun I don't know if you guys do I feel like most of you guys do but whatever uh, I always have a good time so we got to find citronol I believe is right here we're going to go ahead and get citronol growing first because it's the most important thing to us, guys, to be honest with you. Uh, and we're honestly going to stick with just the citronol for now. I know it might seem odd to do that, but we're going to go ahead and do all citronol at first because we need to get some bug spray going. As I was telling you guys, I would like to... Greenhouse effect is only 165. Isn't it normally 300, guys? Am I confused? What if I shut the door? Are you 300 now? No, that didn't do anything. That was useless. Um... Yeah, citronol is for bug spray, and bug spray is what we need, and the only thing that we can't get growing naturally, I do believe, is citronol. Or we probably can, but we need it. But anyways, we're not actually going to be using the bug spray today to tame the giant bees. We're simply going to go find a giant beehive and mess it up. Seriously, we're going to go over there, we're going to roll in like, hey, bees, what's up? And then kick their butts and take their honey. So we can get the sweet veggie cake recipe, which I forget exactly what the recipe is. Um... I have to Google it again, but I'm pretty sure we have almost everything that we need. Uh, we have to fly over and get some sap from the thing. We got all kinds of vegetables growing. Uh, I don't think we actually need... Uh, we don't want you, actually. We're going to take our Allosaurus. Did I not name you Alan yet? Let's go ahead and name this guy Alan, because I feel like I talked about naming him Alan, and I haven't yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Alan? Or was it Al? I don't know. We'll go with Alan. Uh, I think that's pretty great. Pretty, pretty much the most clever name I've ever thought of for an Allosaur in my life. But yeah, we're going to go and head over to where I believe these things are supposed to uh, spawn. But you know what I just realized? I need to get a little bit of food going. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hopefully we can find some giant bees. Hopefully. And uh, take their honey from them. Like a bunch of bee thieves, I guess. Or a grizzly bear? Grizzly bear makes sense. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, guys, welcome back. I've been doing a little bit of exploring around here, and I gotta say, I'm not seeing many beehives. Now, I was looking up some information on where they might be, and the best thing that I heard was over near the Blue Tower, and Blue Tower's over there, and I've been exploring all around it. I can't really seem to find them. Oh! No way. Oh, Chief Longsocks is the beehive finder of victory. Okay, so, is there anything super dangerous, dangerous, danger zone around? No? Uh, Giganto, fine. Okay, so, this is the area. Blue Tower's right over there, so we're not too far inland from that. All these giant rocks around, you can see the snowy biome in the distance. Wow, I was just going to give you an update on me looking around, but this is better. This is way better. So, like I said, we're not going to do any taming today because we need... Rare flowers and bug spray? I mean, we might be able to do something like that, but... Now, you know what? We're just going to get it. We'll get the bug spray and stuff uh, next time, and we'll worry about getting the bee. For now, we're going to destroy it, because I'm pretty sure destroying the hive, guys, gives us some cool stuff. Now, i got to keep attacking these bees, because I think they will knock me off my mount. I'm pretty sure. So if I just keep destroying it... I kill the queen bee... Killed a lot of bees. Hold on. Let's get these guys over here. Whoa. Two queen bees? Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that was a thing. 
All right, those guys are done. More bees. Okay. Is anyone else gonna attack me? There's more bees over here, which is kind of bad news, right? If I get off, are they gonna? Oh no! No 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 no! Follow me, buddy. Alan, save me! Oh god, Alan! You scared the crap out of me, dude. Okay. The bees are dead, guys. Bees are dead. There's one more. The queen bee's freaking out over there. But you see that down there? I think that's our ticket. Oh, oh, Alan! Okay. All right. Safe. Okay. Okay. Let's grab it. What do we got? Giant bee honey. One giant bee honey? Wow. Wait. Wait. This is weird. Okay. Giant bee honey times five. Spoil time in an hour. Oh my goodness. That is not effective for us at all. How's the health on this thing now? It healed back up. And there's a giant bee over there. Hold on, guys. Let's see. Can we get rare flowers in time? I don't know how that's going to work for us. Because the bee will probably get aggressive without our ghillie suit on. I'm pretty sure. But at the same time, what gives rare flowers in Ragnarok? Do these, for example? <gasps> oh! Oh my goodness. Okay. Hold on, guys. We might be able to do this now. I'm pretty sure, my understanding is, everybody, that we can use a ghillie suit and bug spray. And that's really the only way to do it. But, I'm going to try it. So if I just go... Oh, hello, B. Hold on, hold on. I'm not ready for you yet. Oh, I wasn't prepared. Okay, uh, let's do this. Rare flowers over here. Okay. Now, if we just run up to it and press E, we might be able to tame it. Now, there's another B over there. Are you following me, buddy? It's fine. Oh, oh, he pooped out a bee and it's attacking me. Die, please. Oh, man, is it going to keep pooping out bees? That might be a problem. Oh, it's totally pooping out all the bees. Look at it. It's got an army now. Can I kill them without killing the queen? Okay, yes. All right, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just going to run for it, guys. See if I can just eat this giant bee. Oh, get back on Allosaurus. Okay, back off. Okay, all right. I don't think it's going to work unless we get it to... Ugh. Giant bee, eat my flower, please. Yeah, it's not going to do it. We need to be totally incognito, guys. That's going to be a problem. We need... What? It... Oh, uh, uh, uh. it keeps knocking me off. It keeps knocking me off. Alan, save me. Fight the bees. Okay, guys. So, we have some honey. Spoils in an hour. But if we get it back to base and put it in a preserving bin, it shouldn't be that bad. Now... The thing is, with these giant bees, like I said, we obviously need some kind of protection. So we're going to need bug spray. We're going to need a ghillie suit. Then we can sneak up on that queen bee. And it should be good to go. Also, guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, I started playing today. Ragnarok had an update, or Ark did, I should say. Um, and now I'm getting a little bit of a buggy lighting thing going on. You guys might have noticed it a couple times. I, I wasn't really paying attention. I was f kind of focused on the bees. But basically, what keeps happening is... I keep getting this bug where it gets like super light and super dark. Now I am gammaed up right now, uh, and it looks okay, but I usually play on gamma 2, and it's gamma 3 right now, I think. So it's a little bit bright, but it keeps bugging out where like when I run and turn the camera, it kind of gets dark and then light again. I don't know. But anyways, we have some honey. Hopefully we can get it back to base in time and preserve it. Craft, uh, create some sweet veggie cakes, tame some ovis possibly, and then next time we'll have our citronol ready for our bug spray, our ghillie suit ready to go, and then we can tame those giant bees. Now that we found where they are, guys, it's going to be pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead, get back to base. I'm going to rush there as quick as possible on Alan here. Hopefully we can preserve some of this honey. Actually, you know what? Will it preserve better on you, Alan? Three hours. Oh, that's beautiful. And he's not going to eat honey. He has all the meat that he wants. Awesome. So we can go ahead and pop in on one of our dinos. Three hours is way more time than I plan on spending recording today. So I'm sure we'll have enough time to do what we got to do. But yeah, I'll meet you guys back at base. All right, guys, we're back. And I'm going to go ahead and craft up a bunch of stimulant real quick because the ingredients for the sweet vegetable cake to tame some ovis include some stimulant, some giant bee honey, rock carrot, long grass, savaroot, and fiber and water. Okay, so we're going to hop on... 
one here. We're gonna fly over. First things first, you know, I think Alan is pretty dang quick, guys. I gotta say, I feel like he's getting quick. Seems like Gwen's a little bit slow now, but it's okay. It's fine. Flight is gonna be useful because we need to get up onto our tree platform for... Oh, hello, Ovis. You gonna be my friend soon? Possibly. We're probably gonna be best friends in like five minutes, buddy, just so you know. I just want to warn you ahead of time that we're gonna be the bestest of friends. Okay, so... Over here, what do we need? Uh, let's grab some. What are you? Savaroot, check. We'll grab two of those. Rock carrot, check. Grab a couple of these. And uh, the other one, which is, what are you? Savaroot, no. Long grass. Do we not have. Oh no, is there no long grass? Oh no. Oh crap. Oh, you know what? Hold on, guys. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there is some somewhere down in this area oh no we might have to grow long grass and it might be a terrible disaster I didn't think we would need that oh, or I thought we could at least find it in the area okay well I got the uh, honey the giant bee honey in the preserving bin so it's got eight hours of time now which isn't that bad that's pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and hit up our what's it called man I don't believe there's no long grass we're gonna hit up our uh, our tree fort area and get some sap real quick. We should have plenty, plenty, plenty of sap by now, but I was really thinking that I'd be able to find some long grass in that area. If not, oh man, is there? I swore down in these rocks there was a couple, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit of googling because I know there's another crop field around that we might just want to check out, guys. That might be pretty useful for us, but for now, we might be in trouble. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. I'm gonna do a little bit of looking around. Hopefully, we come back with all the ingredients we need. Because if not, I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, guys. So, I went ahead and waited a couple hours. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I waited a couple hours to uh, get the crops growing. Because we needed the long grass. And it, to my surprise, it does not actually grow in, ooh, in Ragnarok. Not great. We have... Some long grass here. We got some sap, some spark powder. Let's see what else do we need. We could use some giant bee honey, some rock carrot, and some sap root. And I think that's going to be everything. All I have to do is light this stuff up. Do I not have enough space? Ooh, that's no good. We'll take a sap out. We'll take a fiber out. We'll pop a uh, sap root in there. And then what else can I do? I can get these guys filled up with a little bit of water real quick let's go ahead and get that and then we can craft our sweet vegetable cakes for our ovis taming it's gonna be pretty amazing so let's see here can I get some water please uh, how about uh, seven you saw the bug there did you guys see it I don't know what it is that keeps doing that but it does keep happening uh, do 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 okay so there we go. I can actually take a drink as well. Nice. Okay, so we can go ahead and head over here. It's getting dark, so let's Gamma 3 real quick. Caps Lock, why are you on? Get off there, please. All right, so we got our stuff. Let's run over here real quick. Pop it in. This, 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 this. Oh, we could do one at a time only. All right, let's light this fire. Boom, boom, boom. Giant bee honey sap. Fiber stimulant. This should be it, guys. This should be everything we could possibly need to make some sweet veggie cakes. Can you do it in the cooking pot? Isn't that right? I feel like it is. I feel like if I miss that up, I should probably just quit playing Ark forever. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. All right, so we have one sweet vegetable cake. Lasts for four hours in here. Lasts for four hours in here. And I'm sure over here it lasts for a crazy long one day, 15 hours. Excellent. And being on a single player, we don't have to worry about time elapsing in between. Now, we should have enough for Uno Mas. There we go. And the rest, we don't have enough rock carrot for, so we're not going to worry about it. However, we are going to go ahead and try and tame some guys real quick. Let me hop on Alan, and we're going to head over to tame some Ovis now. I'm excited. Okay, guys, we're back. The lighting thing is still going on a little bit. I don't really know what's up with that. It's acting a little bit strange, but... We got some low-level guys here. What are you, level 20? That's pretty good. I want a male and a female. What are you? You're a male, Ovis. What are you over here? Uh, where'd you go? Oh, over here. Okay. Are you a lady, Ovis? 
Are you a lady goat sheep thing? Lady goat sheep. 60. Male. No, 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 no. Oh, this is a lady who doesn't have antlers. Or horns. Hey, how's it going? Are you having a good day? Thank you. Welcome aboard. Follow me. Over here. Now we'll grab a male as well. I have tamed an ovis. What is multiple ovis called, I wonder, guys? Ovi? Ovises? Probably just ovis. But ovi sounds kind of cool. Or kind of weird. I don't know. Anyways. Male? Ovis? Hello, sir. Your day is going well, I presume? Ooh, you know what? Do they instant tame? You know what? We might want to go for a low-level guy. Just in case they don't tame instantly. You know what I'm saying, guys? Because if we need multiple veggie cakes, <clears throat> that could be a disaster. Were you a low-level guy? You're 60. Where is the other low-level guy? Here, let's hop on Al real quick. Come on, Alan. Let's go find uh, a goat sheep thing. Oh, there's a bunch over in this area. All right, what do we got? Are you a guy? Are you a, a guy-looking dude goat? Ovis, you look like you are. 45. Over here, what are you? I am going to make sure it's something low because I'm pretty sure they'll tame anyways, but if we don't need one, we don't need to, to not have it. We got a second Ovis. It's fine. If we had to use multiple veggie cakes, I would have had to craft more. It would have been a pig pain in the butt. Sir, you have extra horns in your head. Did you ever notice that? You have, like, your antler horns, but then you have these little horns. Dude, I'm riding on a sheep. Oh, I'm too fat to ride on the sheep? Go Ovis thing? All right, whatever. We can go ahead and have them. They're both following me. I'm level 100? Oh, I didn't even know that. Really? I didn't realize I had uh, uh, maxed out. Pretty sure that's maxed out, right? Anyways, it's fine. We can always do some stat changes later. I wanted to pump a little bit more fortitude for the extra cold areas. But that's not really a current Chief Long Sox problem. That is a future Chief Long Sox problem. Okay, so we have two Ovas here. They're going to follow us back to base. See the lighting bug, guys? Do you see it? Here, let me gamma back down for you because it's getting a little bright. But you saw that, right? It's a weird flashy thing, and it doesn't usually do that for me. So I think it must be the new update because my settings are all the same for the most part. I don't know why it would be doing that, but it's okay. So let's see. Ovis, follow me. We're going to head back to base, and we're going to give you guys some names real quick. Now, we're not going to pen them up today. We're going to work on breeding and penning them up tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. I guess next episode, technically, since I don't I don't always have arc every single day. You know what I mean. You guys know what I'm talking about. Chief Long Sox is tired, okay? <laughs> it's fine. Um, so we're going to bring these guys back, like I said. We're going to build an Ovis farm area with lots of stuff going on like not just a big pen but like some maybe thatch structures to make it look kind of farmy i think that'll be pretty cool we could possibly do like a whole barn build actually you know some of the more barn like animals for example the ovis some of the equus the horses i mean uh that kind of stuff i think that would be pretty cool um uh, maybe we'll start a uh i don't know terror bird farm like ostriches that doesn't really make sense but oh well so let's get these guys back come on lady and dude lady come on they are so slow, but they're pretty cute, man. Big puff balls of puffiness. So we can start shearing them for fur, which is a pretty cool feature. We can also breed them, and as you guys know, or do not know, but you probably know, um, the meat from an ovis, the the mutton or whatever, ovis chops, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> the, the raw ovis flesh is pretty great for taming carnivores. Better than prime. Not as amazing as kibble, but when you have decent taming rates like I do on a single player, that really doesn't even matter. Okay, so we have this guy. What should we name our Ovises? Is? You know what's funny? The darker one reminds me more of a dude, and the other one reminds me more of a lady, but it's opposite. But whatever, who cares? Let's see. Uh, we're going to call this one... Hmm, what do you look like? Oh my god, look at his little face. What a face you have. It's so cute. <laughs> I've never tamed Ovis before. They both have sparkly blue eyes. All right, let's see. Uh, we can put this back on you. We are going to name, hmm, let's see. Where is this? Options, change name. May, uh, I'm going to call you, do I have a Gary yet? I feel like I have a Gary. Isn't our T-Rex named Gary? Hold on. T-Rex, are you Gary? Pretty sure you're Gary. Yeah, that's Gary. Okay. So, yeah, not Gary. We already have one Gary. We don't need another Gary. So, let's see. Options, change name. Um, hmm, what is a good sheep, goat, ram, ovis name? Uh, how about, hmm, uh, Steve, obviously, because, because it's the first name I thought of. I mean, because it's the perfect name for a goat. Uh, 
thing. And over here, um, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. There it is, options. No, no, options, change name. Steve and how about Cheryl? Is that how you spell Cheryl? I don't know. I'm not a spelling expert, but I'm going to wing it and say that's how you spell Cheryl. If not, oh well. Anyways, so we have our Ovis guys. They're pretty cool. You can obviously get some shears and, uh, and um, what's it called? Shear them up to get some wool and stuff, which you can use for things like bug spray and blah, blah, blah. Whatever else needs wool nowadays with all the arc updates. Let's see their stats. They're probably not going to be too amazing. Let's see. Can I actually ride this thing? If we come over here... Can I give Al a bunch of stuff? I really don't even have that much heavy stuff on me. I don't think I can weigh enough to actually give him anything. Let's see. If we just put everything here, I weigh... How much do I weigh? 50. This might work out, guys. This might work out. Oh, we did it! We are so majestic. Look at how majestic we are! Oh, he's out of stamina already. He's super fat and out of stamina. <laughs> it's just not great. He's not very good at mount here. Um, yeah, not not an amazing mount, but he is pretty cool. But I gotta say, guys, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit of a short episode. I hope you didn't mind doing all the cool Ovis taming. I thought it was fun. And we're gonna be able to get some farming going, some bug spray, some beehiving, all the cool stuff in the next couple episodes. So I'm pretty excited. We are making a lot of progress. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And definitely share with a friend so they can come and hang out with us too. I appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing me. It's what keeps me motivated to keep doing what I do on YouTube. And I really thank you for that. So if you guys had fun, do all the YouTube stuff, like I said, and I will see you all in the next one. Adios! Oh, I... Sorry, Cheryl. Didn't mean to put my goat horns in your butt. Let me just turn it... No, I'm sorry. Okay. Inappropriate. Everyone go home.